Hello, Morena, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Morena. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good evening, Aleli. <laughs> Hola, Morenita. <laughs> Hey, Aleli, good. Today, no problems with the microphone. <laughs> um, now, note. Um, um, how was your weekend, teacher? Very difficult. Very difficult weekend. Or white. Hmm? Um, white. Because you know, my, uh, my daughter is studying medicine. So the weekend we had to study and prepare for her, her exams. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. I see you and no taste. Hubo un examen para los estudiantes de medicina. Yes. Vi al respecto. Leí al respecto. Yes. So. Ojalá que todo salga bien. Yeah. Okay. So it's the life. So I, it's. It's always have to, I, you have to remember and studying. Ah. So for this week, <laughs> no relaxing, this week and studying. Okay. <laughs> well. And your weekend, okay. Alegre, Morena, how was your weekend? Um, very good. Um, very good, my weekend. Um, many things to do at home. Um, the issue, the heat. <laughs> No rain. Oh. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Um, my weekend is tidy because I I went to San Miguel. Wow. To visit mm -hmm. some friends. The weather is, is hot. <laughs> but um, it was good uh, to share friendship <laughs> excellent and tell me morena where do you live in san salvador okay yeah so from san salvador to san miguel right mm -hmm. okay okay but i to be honest morena me i don't like san miguel, san miguel <laughs> is, is, for me it's too hot it's too hot. Yes, yes, mm. very hot. Very hot. <laughs> I am surprised. I'm going to carnaval, teacher. No, <laughs> no, too hot, <laughs> too hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but I am very, very surprised when I visit San Miguel and the people in San Miguel, no air conditioning. The house, normal, normal, only. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Only the business, only the business air, but the house, the people, ah, it's mm -hmm. so hot. No, hombre, comete una sopa, se te va a quitar. Yo, ah, te, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. And one coffee. <laughs> yeah. No, and really, when you go to San Miguel, right, Morena? And you yes. see it's hot, and the people, tss, 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 sopon, and, and like, <laughs> oh, uh huh. Or hot chocolate, <laughs> uy. Uh-huh, no. Yes. The teacher <laughs> only ice cream in San Miguel. Yeah. Ice cream in minutas, right? Ice cream in snow cones. Yeah. Only this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for connecting. Today, we're going to finish Unit 2. Remember, last week, we completed Unit 1, and we started Unit 2. But the idea is to make sure that this week, this week we finish unit two and unit three and have time for the exam, okay? This is the objective for this week. So today, let's take a look at the last part of unit two. The last part of unit two is this, being able to give reason using because, since, because of, and do. So like Morena, Morena went to San Miguel and we say, and Aleli asked her, why? Oh, because my friends live in San Miguel. Oh, 
since my friends live this since my friends live in San Miguel these are some of the words that we use to explain why we do things this moment we're going to watch a small video to help us understand the vocabulary and how to give reasons or explain why is the reason hello if you want to give reasons you may do so by using because since because of and some others stay and you will learn not only the meaning but how to use them giving reasons i like the casa blanca because it's always packed since it's always so packed there's a long wait outside the club it's popular because of the fashionable people. The Soul Club is famous for its fabulous music. Due to the crowds, the Casablanca is difficult to get into. The reason people go there is just to be seen. Okay, so as you can see, we can use many different types of words to explain why something happens. Why do you like it? Why do you do it? Or what happens? We can use normal, normal in English, because, right? This is the first that we learned when we were in basic. Hi, because, explain why. But we also have other vocabulary. For, due to, since, the reason. These are other words that we can use to explain why something happens. Now, let's look at a little bit of the grammar part. The reason that people go there is just to be seen. The reason why people go there is just to be seen. To give reasons, we may use because, since, because of, for, due to, the reason that, the reason why, is. Let's begin with because and since. They mean the same, although since is more formal. Because and since are followed by a subject and a verb. Subject plus verb. I love the Soul Club because the music is great. Because or since can begin or end a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Since it's packed, comma, there's a long wait or there is a long wait since it's packed. The clause with because or since is a subordinated one, not a main clause. Because of and due to, they mean the same, although due to often has a negative connotation. Because of and due to are followed by a noun or a noun phrase. This is my favorite club because of the great music. Because of or due to can begin a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Due to the crowd, comma, it's difficult to get into. Or it's difficult to get into due to the crowds. The clause with because of or due to is a subordinated clause, not a main clause. Four, four plus noun or noun phrase. It's famous, well known, popular, for its music. The reason that, the reason why is. The reason Julie goes there is to have fun. Or the reason why Julie goes there is to have fun. Can you answer the following questions given reasons? Why do you think English is so popular? Why do you think there's so much traffic in your city? Write your reasons on our discussion box. Okay, so the important is that we saw different ways. The normal way we are used to is because, but also since is the same structure. You're going to explain what? Since, normally we use with the word it's, because it's is the contact. Since the movie, since the car, since the country, okay? Why are there many tourists in El Salvador? Since... It's safe, more tourists are coming to El Salvador, okay? Or, no, it's since the country is safe, more tourists are coming to El Salvador. 
So since always is going to put the topic first. Since, what is the topic? And then the explanation. Okay. Why was a Top Gun Maverick so popular? Uh, since the movie had the original actors, it was uh, it was very popular for many people. So this is the idea for since and because. The next ones we use are do to, similar to because, but we have a little bit of difference. Do to, we're going to use a noun, right? Do to, what is the topic? Do to uh, the economy, do to the crowds, do to the people, do to the safe, always the topic, and then what happens because of this? This is how we use it with do to. Here, let's look at the two examples. The topic, the crowds. What happens with the crowds? It's difficult to get in. The same, we can change it. It's difficult to get in. Oi, what are you talking about? It's difficult to what? To get in. To get in, why? Uh -huh. Do to the crowds. This is the idea. So remember, always, these are the ways to answer with why. It's okay how to use these different forms, due to, because, and since. It's okay, Jules, I have a question about, uh, for example, that's why. It is um, uh, it's similar to these phrases. Yes, that's why. Here's the example, Santiago. And if you can see, it's for explaining the reason. But normally we use the expression, the reason why, that's why, or the reason that. Okay. okay so, got it. okay. Hey, Santiago, why did you, why did you change job? Well, the reason why I changed job was that, that, that. This is the okay. long, the correct answer. But the normal answer, Santiago? Why did you change jobs? Ah, um, why? Because and then just the explanation. Okay. Okay. Got it. Good. Thanks. And oops, sorry, I skipped one. And the other one was, let's take a look. Was four. Okay. Four. The same thing. Always the noun. So in this moment, that's what we're going to practice. Why the different things? Okay. We're going to not practice this part, but we're going to talk about our weekend. For example, Morena went to San, uh, sorry, Morena went to San Miguel. Aleli had a relaxing, but the question is why? Do two. As an example, Aleli asked me, how was your weekend? And I said, oh, it was difficult. I, it was hard. And Aleli said, why? Well, do two. My daughter studying medicine, we had to study organic chemistry. Oh. Why? I had a difficult weekend. Why? Well, I had a difficult weekend because I had to study organic chemistry with my daughter, for example. Okay? So we want to use other words, not only because. Try to use due to, since, uh, for, the reason what all of these we want to try to use. We're going to take a moment about our weekend, describe your activities, and then answer the question, why? Why did you do that? Or why you didn't do that? Okay. Did you have a good weekend? I know. Bad weekend. Why? Um, the reason that I had a bad weekend was to, 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 the same structures. It's okay or any questions? It's okay. It's okay? Okay. How do you say fui de paseo? I am going to travel. Mm, so, so, almost, almost, Luis? I went out. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, good. Remember, Luis, 
Good idea. Remember, it's the weekend. So no future, past tense, past tense, past tense. Yeah. I went, I went on a trip. I traveled, I saw. So in this moment, you are speaking, but remember, not only the verbs, the verbs, past tense, past tense. Okay, let's practice okay. with our partners. because of the accident so i'm so tired now mm -hmm. uh, five hours uh, for San Salvador to Chalchuapa, it was. Oh my God. Day. It was terrible. Yes. But what about you? Uh, oh, tell me was... about your weekend. How was it? What, what was the question? About your weekend. Tell us about your weekend, mm -hmm. something that, that you did, and, and, and I don't know. Uh, the reasons that okay. Uh, okay, my weekend was um so beautiful because uh, on Saturday nice. I work all day and I and I was so tired because and I felt so stressed. But on Sunday it was a great day uh, because uh, in the morning I rest a lot. And I did many things in my house and and in Asterdam. And I went to the church and and I really enjoyed the with my family. And it was incredible. But now that I I feel so happy, but, but I I I don't like the the Mondays. Mm. What did you see moving in television? Yes, uh, yesterday I watched um, a movie, a Christian movie, in my cell phone. Uh -huh. It was interesting. What is the name, the movie? I I don't remember the name. <laughs> I don't remember, so, but it was. Why, why did you choose? Why did you choose the movie? Uh, it was a, a case. So you have you have always lived in Quesaltepec. Yes, only Quesaltepec. Uh huh. Since uh, do you live here too? Ah. Uh, I'm not. I live in Lourdes. Okay, we are nearly. It's relative nearby. Fifteen minutes. Uh, um, for a forty minutes and drive in in car. How about the traffic in this moment for there? No, this moment. Uh, there traffic in the car road. The, Complicated. Complicated because uh, uh, the, uh, there are an accident. Today. Yes. Today. Some people die now. Yes. Today. In a motorcycle. In yes. motorcycles. It's very complicated in this sun. Two hours in this traffic today to come to my house. Uh, Two hours. Sometimes uh, I have I have uh, go to the different 
sparse, uh, sparse uh, because uh, I have different uh, activities in my company. What do you think? Why? Uh, what is the reason to? There are a lot of traffic. Camera. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, ah, Marvin. Exactly. How was your week? Ay, I missed it. Todo despeinado. Dale. <laughs> y por eso, por eso mismo. <laughs> sí. Okay, hello, friend. Marvin. This weekend is very busy <laughs> for me. Uh, <laughs> very busy, you too. Are you girlfriend? You too, I'm coming in with my family and with my girlfriend. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I I remember your girlfriend. Yeah. It, 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 okay. It, it, it's a hey, mi man. <laughs> See you yes, again. I remember you mommy. only for your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> the only only girlfriend. <laughs> or white. Only only girl. Yes. Okay, Marvin. Continue. And, uh, <clears throat> and mm, in, the Saturday, in the Saturday, in the Saturday, I I was visit visit with my family, my uncle, my uncle, uncle, tios. Uh huh. No. Yes, uncle. Tios. Yeah, yeah. My uncle uh, and and yeah, uh, they yes. they. They I need the, the they I need the problem. They, they need. They need. Si ellos tenían problemas de internet. Uh, they uh, have problems. Uh, they have. They have problems. Yes. This Marvin is an and, expert in internet. A little. In past, a little. A little. Is okay. hard, Marvin. Our standard. Moral. Your practice. To, to... Yes, I am taking classes in a school, but in my classes, I learned how to ride a motorcycle on a okay. standard motorcycle. But oh, wow. uh -huh, But I try to use a, a. I don't know how. I didn't remember how to say manual, uh, hand handle handmade motorcycle. Okay. Uh, and I learned in my that case. In my case, I ride a uh, driving a uh, car. Uh, is uh, automatic. Automatic. Okay. It's easy. No standard. No standard. Okay. Only, Do you have motorcycle? No. No really. Motorcycle, no. No. It's dangerous for you. You 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 can you drive a motorcycle? No. no. Drive? No. Right. No. 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 Okay. And in uh, any moment. Okay. Can you uh, ride a bike? Yes. Uh, bike. Yes. Bike. It's uh, same. Yeah, it's similar. Similar. <laughs> similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My ways. Uh, say I don't know motorcycle. <laughs> Okay, great. I see a lot of people had a nice weekend, many different activities, 
many different things, events, some normal, relax, stay at home, watch movies, no problem, it's wonderful. The important is we use the correct grammar and that's what we're going to practice now. We want to make sure that we use because, because of, due to, the reason why, that is what we're going to do in the next exercise. So in our next exercise, 2.10, sorry, and 2.10, nine sorry 2.9 in the platform we have a couple of different ways remember how can we give explanations using the vocabularies like because and since and all of these words these words you're going to use you're going to use it to complete the sentence so we're going to use the words because since because of for due to and the reason okay so we're not going to copy all the sentence, only we're going to put in the word that is best to complete them. Here we have many options and we're gonna complete with our partners. Then we're going to practice the listening exercise. We're going to listen to three people and we're going to choose what are the features. This is the descriptions. What are they talking about? Do they talk about low prices or uh, how fast it is or how knowledgeable? That's the listening. And the last exercise that we're going to do today is the reading. So we have three exercises. First is the knowledge check. Then we're going to come back and check. Then we're going to do the listening with the partners and check. And then the reading. Okay. So in this moment, let's try to focus on those two. We have three exercises, 2.9, 10, and 11. We're going to have 10 minutes to advance with our partners. We come back and we check. And then the last part, we do the reading together because the reading is pretty big. It's okay? It's okay. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Okay. So let's try a few more. New partners. Let's make sure. And let's go. Page 82. Exercise 10. Listening. Radio commercials. Listen to three radio commercials advertising businesses. What are two special features of each place? What slogan does each place use? 1. Maggie's. Oh, Carol! What a great suit! It looks just like the one I saw in the latest fashion magazine. Is that a... Uh-huh. Wow! But her clothes are so expensive. How can you afford designer clothes? And on our salary? Hey, did you get a raise? No way! You know I'd tell you if I did. Well, there's something you're not telling me. Okay, okay. Well, I found this really great store. They have all the latest fashions, not last year's stuff that's already out of style. And their prices are just unbelievable. They must be. That's the second new outfit you've worn this week. Where is this place? It's called Maggie's, and it's just around the corner. I'll take you there at lunchtime. Don't wait for your lunch hour. Come to Maggie's now. We've got all the best designer fashions at the lowest prices, and we accept all major credit cards. Remember, if you don't see what you want in your closet, come check out ours. Two, Sports Pro. Hey, people, what are you going to do this summer? A little fishing? Camping? 
maybe finally learn how to play tennis instead of just watching it on TV? Yeah, I know how much you'd like to do these things. If only you had the right equipment. If only you knew what you were looking for when you walked into one of those big sporting goods stores. Well, here at Sports Pro, we want to help you, not confuse you. Our experienced salespeople are knowledgeable. They really know what they're talking about. So, feeling inspired? Good. Now, come on in. No excuses, because we're open every day. Sports Pro. We're here to help you have fun. 3. Mexi Grill Excuse me, was that your stomach I just heard growling? Hmm, feeling hungry, right? Only you're not sure what you want? Well, close your eyes and picture this. A huge tortilla filled with sizzling pieces of chicken. Should you add fried onion and peppers? Or maybe crispy lettuce and tomato? Or guacamole and spicy salsa? Well, you know what? You can have any of these because we'll add any combination of fillings you want. In a hurry? No problem. We have lots of people waiting to serve you. And check out our low prices. Mexi Grill. You won't find a cheaper, tastier meal anywhere. Okay, let's listen one more time and check the answer. Page 82, exercise 10, listening, radio commercials. Listen to three radio commercials advertising businesses. What are two special features of each place? What slogan does each place use? One, Maggie's. Oh, Carol, what a great suit. It looks just like the one I saw in the latest fashion magazine. Is that a... Uh-huh. Wow! But her clothes are so expensive. How can you afford designer clothes? And on our salary? Hey, did you get a raise? No way. You know I'd tell you if I did. Well, there's something you're not telling me. Okay, okay. Well, I found this really great store. They have all the latest fashions, not last year's stuff that's already out of style. And their prices are just unbelievable. They must be. That's the second new outfit you've worn this week. Where is this place? It's called Maggie's, and it's just around the corner. I'll take you there at lunchtime. Don't wait for your lunch hour. Come to Maggie's now. We've got all the best designer fashions at the lowest prices. And we accept all major credit cards. Remember, if you don't see what you want in your closet, come check out ours. Two, Sports Pro. Hey, people, what are you going to do this summer? A little fishing? Camping? Maybe finally learn how to play tennis instead of just watching it on TV? Yeah, I know how much you'd like to do these things. If only you had the right equipment. If only you knew what you were looking for when you walked into one of those big sporting goods stores. Well, here at Sports Pro, we want to help you, not confuse you. Our experienced salespeople are knowledgeable. They really know what they're talking about. So, feeling inspired? Good. Now, come on in. No excuses, because we're open every day. Sports Pro, we're here to help you have fun. 3. Mexi Grill Excuse me, was that your stomach I just heard growling? Hmm, feeling hungry, right? Only you're not sure what you want? Well, close your eyes and picture this. A huge tortilla filled with sizzling pieces of chicken. Should you add fried onion and peppers? Or maybe crispy lettuce and tomato? Or guacamole and spicy salsa? Well, you know what? 
You can have any of these because we'll add any combination of fillings you want. In a hurry? No problem. We have lots of people waiting to serve you. And check out our low prices. Mexi Grill. You won't find a cheaper, tastier meal anywhere. Okay, so let's take a look and see how well you did with your partners and which ones we got correct and which ones not. So, MTV, one of the most popular television networks in the world. People love MTV not only... Because of. Because of, okay. Let's try it. Not only because of its music videos. But also, due to, due to, okay, due to its clever and diverse programming. The next. Thanks. Please repeat, Santiago. Things. Uh-huh. So what, what is it? S I N C E. Ah, since, since. Thank you. Yes. I couldn't hear you. Yes. Uh huh. I didn't hear your microphone. Thank you, Santiago. Since. Great. Now, since it keeps its shows up to the minute, young people watch MTV for the latest fads in music and fashion. MTV is also known for. for. Okay. Also known for its music awards show. Mm -hmm. The reason why. The reason why that. The reason Oops. that. The reason why, that. or the reason that. Okay, let's take a look. Very nice, exactly. So as we can see, because of, good. Do to or because of, both of those are correct. Both of them can be used. Then we have since. Or because, for, only for, and the last one, the same, we have two options. The reason why or the reason that. These are the best options for all of those. Now, just like an explanation, always we can use, or normally, not always, but normally we can use more than one way, not only because. We can say because, do to, for, since. These are more than one ways. That's why some of the answers have two options. It's okay? Great. Now let's check your listening. Were you able to complete the listening? Yeah. All right. Santiago, what was Maggie's? What did she talk about? Maggie's, number two teacher, future lowest prices, accept credit cards. Excellent. All right. What about? Raquel, what about the sports pro? What did the sports pro say? I mean, lowest price accept credit cards. No, sorry, is the number one. Okay, fast service and low prices. Okay, all right. And Jefferson, what about the Mexi Grill? Uh, feature, feature fast service and low price. Low price. Yes, teacher. The number two is knowledgeable salespeople open every day. Okay. All right. <laughs> there we go. And then the last one, then that means that number three is? Uh, fast service and low prices. Fast service and low prices. Very good. Okay. That's better. Exactly. Those are correct answers about Maggie about the sports bra, sorry, sports pro and Mexi grill. 
And now we have our final activity for this unit, mm -hmm. which is the reading exercise. Sure. Yes. About the pronunciation of the second, in the in the second, the third one, the answer of features not knowledgeable. Oh, oh, what, what is the pronunciation? Correct. Thank you, Cesar. The pronunciation is knowledgeable. Okay, uh -huh. knowledgeable. Got it. Got it. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Okay. All right. Thank you for asking, Cesar. Hey, thanks. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a look at our reading exercise. We have a little bit of reading here. We're going to look at this article. It's called The Wrong Stuff. Okay. Here, look at this. Have a great car, the Nova. Hmm. So it's nice to have a new car, but if it doesn't run, it's not good, right? It's, it's like, oh, here, have a cell phone, but the cell phone is blocked. <laughs> and then you can't do anything. That's the idea that we're going to be reading that. So we have several different parts. The first part, the person is going to read from look at the picture to the hard way. Who is going to read number one? Cesar, okay, number one, Cesar, good. First, Who's going to read okay. number two? What's in the name? What's in the name? Me, teacher. Santiago, number two, excellent. Who's going to read number three? Translation problems. Me, teacher. Okay, Elvis, number three. Now, the next one, a picture worth a thousand words. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you very much, Noe. Noe. And the last one, twist of fate. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Luis. So let's begin reading. Let's read with the first part. Okay. Uh, look at the picture and the first sentence of the article. Why is market research important to companies that want to sell their products internationally? If a business want, if a business wants to sell its products internationally, it had better do some market research first. This is a lesson that some large American corporations have learned the hard way. What is a name? Mm -hmm. Sometimes the problem is the name with General Motors introduced the Chevy Nova into Latin America. It overlooked the fact that Nova in Spanish means it doesn't go. Sure enough, the Chevy Nova never went anywhere in Latin America. Mm -hmm. Translation problems. Sometimes it's uh, the slogan that doesn't work. No company knows this better than Pepsi Cola with its come and live with Pepsi campaign. The campaign was so successful in the United States, Pepsi translate its slogan literally for its international campaign. As it turned out, the translation were hit right. Pepsi was pleading with Germans to come out to off the grave and telling the Chinese that Pepsi brings your ancestors back from the grave. Okay. A picture were a thousand words. But it tried the primary in word factory. A picture of the smiling rose taken by her hair child bouncing the heart for her baby. Who? So, when her mercury is product in Africa, it is the picture of the heart. What her reading really see was that in many African country, the picture is on the hard shelf what the heart has seen in it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Luis, that was you, no? Luis? Okay, maybe some. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. This twist of faith, even cultural and religious factors and poor coincidence, 
can be involved with Tom MCIN shows how a Tom MCIN signature inside to people in, Bangla in Bangladesh, the signature looked like Arabic strip uh, for the word Allah. Allah. I don't know what is that. Allah. In Allah. that Allah. country. Allah. Allah. Uh -huh. Allah. Okay. In that country, feel feet are considered unclean and mo more Muslims feel the company was insulting God's name by having people walk on in on it. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't read this. <laughs> no problem. It's okay. It's okay. That's how we practice. So first, before we answer questions, are there any words you don't know or don't understand? No, all the vocabulary is clear. And and just the round cheek it. Round cheeks. For okay. the verb, right? Yes, in, in in the last part, round cheeked. Yes, right here. Round cheeked baby. This is the cheek in the face, and then the round cheek is full. Okay. So let me explain one more time. Here are the cheeks, and the round cheeks are like the baby pictures, like they are big. Like nope. Kiko. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, like Kiko. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. What is the pronunciation correct of Bangladesh? Bangladesh. 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 Mm -hmm. Any other words? It is overlooked. Look is overlooked. 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 Correct. Okay. Pronunciation overlooked. And this means the people don't pay attention to. They don't see. This is overlooked. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Well, if there are no questions, now that we read, now it's simple. We choose true or false for each of those. Let me try to make it a little bit bigger to make it easier for you to see. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so number one, true, false, or not given? False. 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 Good. The Come Alive with Pepsi campaign worked well in the United States. True. 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 Okay. Pepsi still sold well in Germany and China. Not given. Not given. Not yeah. given. Mm -hmm. Gerber changed its packaging after the problem in Africa. Not given. Not given. Not given. Not given. Mm -hmm. Tom McAnn used the Arabic script for the word Allah in their shoes. False. 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 And the problem for False. Tom McAnn was the company's name. False. 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 Okay, very nice. Let me make it smaller so we can see exactly. All of our answers, as you can check, are correct. False, true, not given, not given, false, and false. Okay. Any questions?
No teacher, no, no help teacher. question. Okay. One, one thing, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the paragraph two, number two, that paragraph is funny because. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And what is the name? What is in a name? That's funny. That's part because Nova, Nova. Exactly. So because in Nova is big in English is the big explosion, something <laughs> long. But in Latin America, Nova, Nova. <laughs> is the Spanish, right? It doesn't run. Now you understand the picture. That's why in the picture, hey, it's a great car, the Nova. But in the translation for Spanish, it doesn't run. So the people thought in Latin, I buy a car and it doesn't work. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't know why, but that's the way that it has. Okay. It's like for Wendy's. Wendy's had the problem with uh, and with uh with Burger King because Burger King is Cuarto de Libra or McDonald's is Cuarto de Libra. I can't remember. McDonald's. It's a quarter pounder, right? So <laughs> Wendy's, yes. Wendy's had the hamburger that it was one third, un tercio. But the people thought that it was smaller. The people, the Americans thought that the hamburger was smaller and didn't buy the hamburger because the Americans are not good with mathematics. They're not very intelligent in this. So for them, number three, un tercio is less que un cuarto porque four is a bigger number. So, yeah, that's that's why also in marketing, uh, when you go to the supermarket or something like that, the price is like fifteen and ninety nine, or because mm -hmm. just uh, the people just watch the the fifteen, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, it's very common. So these are some of the problems that international companies have had going into new markets. Okay, I'll give you one more example. Um. Let's give an example. Let's see Morena, Eneida, Raquel, and Aleli. For Valentine's Day, do you give flowers or do you receive flowers? We receive. I receive. Good. Do you flowers. give chocolates or do you receive chocolates? I give chocolates. <laughs> and Neida gives chocolate, uh huh. I give and receive. Uh, and receive, okay. Morena? I give and receive chocolate. Okay, good. And Aleli? Uh, um, I give, I know I like a chocolate. Okay, <laughs> wow. good. very good. <laughs> and, and this is the Latin America. In the Latin America mm -hmm. is too, because Valentine's Day for the companies is Dia del Amor y Amistad. So you give or receive. In the United States and Canada is only for love for the men. The men have to give, but no receive. But el traductor, el intérprete de Japón se equivocó. Se equivocó. So today, even today, aún hoy en día, when you go to Japan for Valentine's Day, los hombres reciben el chocolate y no las mujeres. Hubo bajas en la... You, it, it, Good it, joke. Good joke. Hombres, There's reason to like Japan. Los hombres reciben <laughs> los chocolates y los regalos para Valentín y no las mujeres. <laughs> that not was a mistake, teacher. <laughs> it was a mistake from the interpreter, pero, o sea, mistake, no mistake, right? Sorry, no sorry. <laughs> Get sorry to Japan, teacher. Yes. It's Just... wrong, excelling. It's wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, is these little things that many times it's in 
the word it's in the pronunciation imagine because in for them the the interpretation is eh, mostrar tu amor pero mostrar tu amor dando so then it was no recibiendo so this one word invirtieron millones en publicidad y les quedó and so now <laughs> ya se quedó lo importante vender entonces se quedaron con eso so just a little story for you to know just a little story for you to know Mm -hmm. And the same thing for other little things like KFC. KFC is very popular. It's very popular in Asia and China, but it's not like KFC like in El Salvador. For them, KFC is like, like uh, pollo campero for El Salvador. The pollo campero, you go with your family, but not for individual. You go to have a dinner, to have a celebration. Mm -hmm. So the important is Delmi, go ahead, tell me, tell me, Delmi. Hello. Yes, Delmi. What is the question? No, no, no. Eh, vi que activaste el micrófono. Pensé que ibas a decir algo. Sorry, Delmi. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. You want okay. chocolate. Uh huh, exactly. <laughs> you want the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, as you can see, it happens many times. Now, why is it important? Because when you speak to Americans, Canadian, Australians, you have to be careful, not with the language, but also with the interpretation. It's not the same. It's not the same. Right? That's why the Latin, the Latin American movies, no translation. No son traducidas. Son interpretadas because Salvadorians and not Salvadorians, Latin America, no les gusta interpretación. Les gusta literal. ¿Qué voy a ver en la película? Mm -hmm. El monstruo debajo de la cama. No, you know, the, the, Latin America is specifically what I'm going to do. No for interpretation. But I see Aleli raised her hand. Aleli, you had a question or a comment? Uh, oh, no, teacher. Um, uh, you prefer that they give you chocolate? You know, I have to be honest, Aleli. This year, this year was the first year. The first year I received flowers for my birthday. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it beautiful? Yes, yes. It's the first your, year I received Hela, flowers. your wife. Yes, uh, well... Digamos que sí, pero no, pero yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Por ahí va el volado. Girlfriend. Your girlfriend. Uh -huh. so mal, big My girlfriend. friends. My friends. Día del amor oh. y amistad. Oh, okay. Explanation. Uh -huh. teacher say in Spanish? Uh, oh. Amiga con derecho. Ay, en edad, ay, en edad. Ganado. Who is the lover? No. Roman uh -huh. vive. So, Flowers. Yes. But I, I have always, I have always given flowers to women, but I have never received flowers from women. But this year, it, and sometimes I have received chocolates, wow. but this year was very the opposite. I received chocolates and flowers and it, different, the different. So I thought it was very nice. But usually the women are the ones that receive the flowers and I don't know why. But the but the women always all the women that receive flowers always like them. They hi the uh, la girasoles they're so beautiful. Ay los tulipanes gracias. Ay la rosa. Uh huh. Always, always. But I have to say that my flowers were very beautiful. It's it was a bouquet. I had like fifteen different flowers, uh, purple and yellow and white. It was it was very nice. Mm -hmm. But just so that we have an interpretation so remember what uh before we forget okay, teacher, but yes. the girls excited yes i was excited when i came but home. okay yes it's when a I beautiful came home, wow i said this is not normal Algo hice bien este año. <laughs> because yes and i thought okay Interesting, very interesting. 
So, guys, we're going to continue. Remember that you need to finish uh, units one and two. We are now complete. Today, we finished two. Hang on. Let me see. Teacher. No, no sé si lo logran ver, pero mm, maybe no. Hang on. Mm, así eran mis flores. Come on, teacher. Uh -huh. So beautiful. Wow, amazing. Uh -huh. so beautiful. Para que vean que no es paja. Ah. Nice. <laughs> it's a secret. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh, antes solo juego de llaves le daban, ¿verdad? <laughs> uh -huh. There you go. Well, Jer, yes, yes, yes. I have a question. Just uh, because the girl of uh, inglés corporativo was pushing me about the 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 units uh, the sections sorry uh, for the last week so on thursday i needed to complete so i i don't know if because you are seeing that it's today and and i, I don't know why she was pushing me or is just uh, for thursday for thursdays it's for thursday so last week thursday uh, uh, you had to finish, for example, last week, tenía que tener completado unit one. So last week, uh, Thursday, unit okay. one had to be complete. But one and two? This, but this week, this, week, you, this week, a little bit different. Last week had to be unit one and begin unit two. But mm -hmm. this week have to finish unit two and finish unit three with the test. That's the difference. Yeah. But, but next week, no, next week is only one unit. Next week is only unit four. And then the last week is unit five. And okay. the final exam. And the final exam, exactly. And the final okay. exam. Okay, mm -hmm. I understood. Okay. okay. Thank you so much for connecting. I hope you have a great day. I see you guys tomorrow. Hey, teacher, thank, thank you. you. Teacher. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.